HDFC Pharma and Healthcare Fund. Will this fund help you create long-term wealth? Or will this hurt your long-term wealth creation process? Let us do an in-depth analysis on this new fund offer. NFO of HDFC Pharma and Healthcare Fund is open till 28th September 2023. It is a sectoral equity fund focusing on pharma and healthcare sector. Open-ended fund. The benchmark of this fund is S&P BSE Healthcare. The minimum amount to invest is just 100 rupees. The fund manager is Nikhil Mathur. Exit note is 1% if redeemed before one year. After one year, there is no exit load at all. What is the investment philosophy of this fund? This fund aims to invest in opportunities across pharma and healthcare sector. The objective of this fund is to generate long-term wealth by investing in equity and equity-related instruments of pharma and healthcare sector. To whom this fund is actually suitable? What is the suitability? This fund seeks to provide long-term capital appreciation by investing predominantly in equity and equity-related securities of pharma and healthcare companies. So, this scheme is suitable for aggressive investors who are bullish on pharma and healthcare sector. So, there are two criteria here. One is you need to be an aggressive risk-taking investor and second is you should have an outlook which is bullish on pharma and healthcare sector. Then only this fund is actually suitable to you. What are the advantages of investing in this fund? The fund is diversified among the top performing companies in the pharma and healthcare sector. Investors seeking for allocation to pharma and healthcare sector, definitely they can consider. If the pharma and healthcare sector performs very well and delivers good return, then definitely this fund can add a very good return to your overall portfolio. This fund follows high risk and high return strategy. So, if you are going to take high risk and bet on high return, then this fund can be part of your satellite portfolio. This fund is actually suitable only for aggressive investors who are bullish on pharma and healthcare sector. When you are investing, you should actually focus more on a risk involved in the scheme than the benefits of this particular scheme. Because calculated risk is what you need to take. Risk adjusted return is what you need to seek. Because this is an equity fund, uh, this fund is riskier for short-term investors. Only if you have long-term money, then you can consider to invest in this fund. This fund is actually not suitable for your core portfolio. Your core portfolio should have a well-diversified portfolio. Not all themes and sectors translate into stock market returns. So, at times, a sector may not do well for decades. So, that way, I would strongly suggest create a strong diversified portfolio. If you have enough diversified portfolio and if you have complete bullish outlook on pharma and healthcare, you can do it. Otherwise, you can simply avoid this. You may overexpose your portfolio to negative triggers. Meaning, if you are investing in this fund and if there is any negative news for pharma and healthcare sector, then this can create negative return for your portfolio. In the budget, if they are announcing some negative impact taxation, pharma and healthcare sector, then obviously this particular fund will have a huge negative hit. This fund is not a flexible fund or it is not very dynamic compared to a diversified equity fund. In a diversified equity fund, the fund manager can change from one sector to other sector. Right? If he feels pharma and healthcare is good, he can have higher allocation in pharma and healthcare in a diversified fund. Tomorrow, the outlook for pharma and healthcare becomes very dim and the technology sector outlook is bright. He can move out of pharma and healthcare and move into technology sector. This kind of flexibility and dynamicness is not available in this sector-specific HDFC pharma and healthcare fund. Because this is a sectoral fund, this can add more volatility to your portfolio. Because this fund is completely concentrated on a particular sector, this can deliver high return at the same time concentration brings huge amount of additional risk. If the pharma and the healthcare sector underperforms, obviously this fund will underperform and bring down your overall portfolio return. To be a successful investor in this particular fund, you should have right amount of timing. You should be able to time the entry and the exit into this particular fund. Only if you are able to time it rightly, then you can choose to invest in this fund. Is timing this particular sector is within your circle of competence, then you can consider if it is not part of your circle of competence, if you are not working for this particular sector or if you don't have any other inside information about this particular sector or you are not having enough research on this particular sector, obviously this can backfire. So, what is the final takeaway? Can I invest in this fund or I should avoid this fund? For first-time investors and conservative investors, obviously this enough you need to avoid. 
because first time investors should invest in conservative funds like large cap funds or well diversified funds not in a sector specific high risk funds on the other side if you are willing to invest in pharma and healthcare sector there are existing pharma and healthcare funds with a good track record then why should you invest in this fund which is not having any track record any portfolio where we are not able to do any assessment this fund is not suitable if you are looking for funds for your core portfolio if you don't know when to enter and exit from pharma on the healthcare sector then obviously you need to avoid this particular fund so before taking a call to invest in these kind of nfos please consult your financial planner or a professional mutual fund distributor to check whether this fund's investment objective meets your financial goals the risk profile of this particular fund meets your risk taking capacity and your risk willingness and also what is the overlap ratio of this fund with your existing portfolio what kind of allocation to be given these kind of things will be checked by a professional mutual fund distributor or a financial planner before recommending these kind of funds so please consult a professional financial planner and a professional mutual fund distributor today to take right investment decision i'll again meet you in yet another useful video if you have any questions related to this or any other investment options or related to your financial goals feel free to book a free appointment with our financial planner the link to the free booking is given in the description below this video Also will you be interested to attend insightful investment webinar then feel free to register for our upcoming insightful enlightening investment webinar and it is completely free the registration link for the upcoming webinar is also given in the description box if you like this video please give a thumbs up also share it in your social circle if you are not subscribed to our youtube channel so far please subscribe now